Now today, leaders from South America that share the Amazon are meeting in the northern city of Belém to discuss regional measures to save the rainforest. Now this is following the latest figures that show deforestation has fallen a whopping 66% since Luna, Lula came into power. Uh, Lula has promised zero deforestation by 2030, but is that a realistic goal? Our South, South America correspondent Katie Watson reports. Virgin forest still exists here in the Amazon, but every day the illegal loggers get closer. For those living under the rainforest's canopy, it's been a difficult few years. You have no idea how much pressure there was in our community under the Bolsonaro government. Landowners circling in planes, soya farmers wanting to buy the land to deforest it. The Hobson and his trees stood firm. He's buying into a booming carbon credit industry, taking part in sustainable farming projects that sell carbon credits for companies wanting to offset their emissions. It's become so popular in this part of the Amazon that authorities have accused carbon credit companies of harassment, pressuring communities to sign contracts. Bianca and her family, like many in the region, want better services like schools and health centers, but they're suspicious of these newcomers offering to help. It is not that transparent. We cannot see how it would give us a secure life. We are always on the back foot, fear the consequences. Because of these stories we heard, we decided not to sign a contract. How to ensure the Amazon's future? and how to provide for its people is the biggest dilemma facing leaders at this week's summit in Belém. Lula's ambitious, but it's no easy task. Just to get to this part of the Amazon, it took 13 hours overnight on a river boat, and now this smaller boat to get to the communities here. But if you look on a map, it all looks so close together, and it just goes to show how vast the Amazon is, but also how difficult it is to navigate, and ultimately also how difficult it will be for Lula to achieve his zero deforestation by 2030. This is Hernandez Plantation, the tools and training funded by a carbon credit company. Last year, the community had to drive out five illegal sawmills felling trees from their land. But defending their territory from loggers is an impossible task on their own. Partnering with those who have the funds is the only option. For the company, empowering the community is key. So too is empowering the region as a whole. When Global North comes to Global South and say, I have the solution, we're like, really? Have you been to the Amazon? How do you know what's good for them? You don't have your boots on the ground. So it's very uh, easy to say, I have the solution. People here want South America's voice heard before it's too late. Katie Watson, BBC News, in Para.